As of August 24th, 2023, there will be regulations coming into force around the use of diisocyanates. This video will explain what you can do to prepare for these regulations. Hi, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'll be talking about the two options available to prepare for the diisocyanate regulations coming into force in 2023. Firstly, we will go over what the regulations state, then we'll outline the two options available and finally assess those options to help you decide which option is best for you. What are the diisocyanate regulations? The regulations state that diisocyanate shall not be used on their own or in mixtures for industrial or professional use after August 24th, 2023 unless a. the concentration of diisocyanates is less than 0.1% by weight or b. the employer ensures that professional and industrial users have completed training on the safe use of diisocyanates before using products containing more than 0.1% of the chemical. In order to comply with these regulations, there are two options available. You can either provide the necessary training or look for alternative products that don't contain diisocyanates. We will go over each option in more detail now. The first option is to ensure all operatives receive the correct training. This method will mean you need to find the required training for your application and then ensure all operatives have received that training to achieve compliance. There are some advantages and disadvantages to this method though. By providing training, you will avoid the process of switching to a new product altogether. This process of switching to a new product can be difficult as you not only have to find the right solution that meets your needs, but you also have to convince other stakeholders internally that change is the right option. Ultimately, providing training will not only be easier to implement, it is also a more immediate cost-effective option as the process of finding a new adhesive can have more upfront cost. However, training is not a perfect solution. Firstly, you have to find the right training course that will pass the criteria set out in the restrictions. Then, you have to ensure all operatives using polyurethane products successfully complete that course. This is a challenge, because if you have a high staff turnover or you're using temporary employees, it can be difficult to ensure they all take the training. And that's not all. Advancements in adhesive technologies over recent years have led to newer, and cheaper adhesives that can exceed the performance of polyurethane systems. By providing training, you miss out on the chance to implement a newer, better product instead. The second option is to find an alternative that does not contain diisocyanates. This will involve finding an alternative adhesive that not only fits the requirements you need from the adhesive, but also contains less than 0.1% diisocyanate. Again, there are advantages and disadvantages to this option. The main advantage to changing adhesives is you remove the need to train the staff on how to handle diisocyanates. Companies with high staff turnover and temporary employees will not constantly need to retrain staff. You'll also be able to look at improving your processes. You may be able to find a newer adhesive technology with increased performance. We've seen a lot of the time, companies that are using polyurethane adhesives have been using that system that's been specified for years. When they look at changing away from the polyurethane systems, they find that they can vastly improve their production processes with newer and improved adhesives. Methyl methacryl adhesives, also known as acrylics, and epoxy adhesives are the two most structural adhesive types that can replace polyurethane systems. Nonetheless, switching adhesives is by no means easy. The change process is often difficult due to resistance internally, and it can also take a long time, sometimes up to three to six months. However, if you start early enough, you will be ahead of the curve and you will have implemented your solution to the diisocyanate regulations by the time they come into force in August 24th, 2023. You'll also have to ensure that any new products match the required performance for that application. So now that you know a bit more about each option available, it's time to make a decision. If you think training is the best route for you, head to the comments or resources section below and it will help you provide all the information and links you need to find the right training solutions. However, if you'd like to find an alternative adhesive product, you can read our article or watch the video which explains the different adhesive systems available. Thank you for watching and don't forget to contact us if you'd like to speak to an adhesive expert.